Hi there, students. To hold court. Okay, to hold court is where you are the centre of attention amid a group of uh, admirers, of people who admire you. So, the film star was holding court in uh, his dressing room. Um, let's see, to hold court, a king or a queen holds court. Um, yeah, so the king holds court and this is like an official function with all of the king's retinue, with the dukes and the duchesses and all, all, of, the, all of the people at court. Um, so they're holding court, but... If you're holding court, you're being presided over by um, admirers, by uh, attendants. Um, you are surrounded by your disciples, your admirers, and you're giving advice, you're gossiping with them, you're receiving compliments. Um, so my uh, grandma well, went to the... Uh, pub and she sat at a table in the corner holding court and all of the people came uh, came up to uh, see her to talk to her yeah um, so to be to hold court to be surrounded by people who are paying you a lot of uh, attention because they think you're interesting because they think you're important and this is the idea um, so after making his speech um, he went to hold court uh, with the press. Um, okay, so to hold court, it, it's to be surrounded by people. Um, he loved to hold court and tell funny stories. Um, okay, the, it, th this is to be... Um, to be in in a position where uh, people are surra are surrounding you, you're receiving a lot of attention from them. They stand around, or they sit around you, and they listen to you. But this happens particularly on a social occasion. Yeah, to be surrounded by supporters, admirers, subordinates, and servants as well, and have their full um, attention. Um, okay, so. Um, at the party, he sat in the kitchen and held court. Um, so yeah, it's full of admirers, subordinates, hangers-on, all of the, all of the people who are paying lip service to this person, who are um, considering you important and treating you like this. Um, very often, this phrase suggests that the person holding court is rather self-important and they don't actually deserve all of this attention or admiration. Um, but they hold court because they enjoy this and they like being um, all of this adulation. It's as if they were the king or the queen in a court and like that they're um, in the middle of a crowd of admirers. This is an, uh, often used as an ironic phrase. Um, the teacher uh, went to the student's coffee bar and held court. Okay, so it's like, I'm so important, I'm going to sit here and everyone's going to laugh at my joke. So I think if you, yeah, if you're normally, if you're saying somebody is holding court, you're criticizing them. You're saying they're, they're, they're being a bit pretentious. Um, well, but to, to hold court, you understand the idea. Um, let's see, to hold court formality. I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 informality. Use informally, use in the semi-formal conversation, semi-formal or writing. I think maybe not in something very formal. And the idea is the king or the queen uh, uh, holds court and they have all of their admirers and all of their their servants and all of their the, the people around them laughing at their jokes and making them fe feel important. So, I think that's probably enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. To hold...